Sup guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the second day of reactions in the top 100 NFL players in 2022. It's a series that I really enjoy doing. Today we're looking at OBJ, um, Odell Beckham Jr. A.K.A. the man who finally secured that Super Bowl ring. Not with the Giants, not with the brand, Browns, but with the Rams believe it or not. So um, a, a guy who um, I believe has a lot of uh, good football left in him and a guy who I cannot wait to get back out in the field. I'm not sure if it's going to be in week one. I doubt it with the injury that he sustained in the Super Bowl. But uh, all of that and more will be revealed and let's get into it. And then I'm going to go... I'm, I'm about to put Odell in here. He still got it. There's, there's, there's not a doubt in my mind that he's still got it. In 2020, Odell Beckham Jr. fell out of the top 100 for the first time in his career. 2021 was a bit different. Well, that's what happened when you don't get targeted, right? Well, he started it as a Brown, ended it as a Super Bowl champion Ram, and somewhere in the middle found a rebirth and Tell you what, that kind of emotion, guys, that kind of emotion, um, you might call him a diva. But, uh, you know, I don't think there's too much about that that screams diva to me, anyway. A spot back on the top 100. But what I will say is that he could, he could at least get a fucking replacement phone. <laughs> Come on, mate. Odell. I saw maturity. Worked so hard. Perception versus reality, right? What's that fella's name? Weddle. Didn't he just get brought back at like age 37 as a safety to help the Rams out? What's his first name? Justin? Weddle. What was it? It's going to annoy me. Eric. <laughs> I was never going to get that. Right? We know what you're all about. Go put on a show for us today. I mean, at one point, he was top five most popular athlete in the world. That's a lot. So that's the way to get a poster done. You put it flat against the um, the, the barrier there. All right. It's a lot, man. NFL guys, we, we don't... You could put an NFL jersey flat against that. And they might even sign it for you. Typically get that type of stardom. Especially as early... As he got it, when a guy gets that, they're at Tom Brady's age or Aaron's age, Rogers, right? Not as young as Odell was. So that was a lot for him to handle. And Actually, let's look at some stats. He's been in the league for like, what, seven years? And he is... 29. So born 5th of November, 1992. LSU for three years, 2011 to 13. Picked up in the first round of the 2014 draft, pick number 12. Went to the Giants, then the Browns, now the Rams. And yeah, but he's, tw he's 29 years old, for God's sake. It's not over by a long shot. Sometimes just a change of scenery, right? A new situation. Sometimes it's all a guy needs. Stafford to throw. Ready Absolutely. to let it go. Cuts it loose. OBJ! Touchdown, LA! I tell you what, a, a bit of a geographical change, if you can afford it, if you can manage it, um, you know, can help in a lot of situations, not just within an NFL athlete's um, team environment. It can, yeah, that I mean, it's no, it's no, it's no miracle cure, it's no quick fix, but it can help. After joining the Rams, help me before. 10. OBJ caught 27 balls over the last eight games of the regular season, then 21 more over LA's playoff run. Mm, he definitely stepped up in the playoffs. I remember they were doubling teaming him in the Green Bay game. And Green Bay plays a lot of quarters. I want to see he ran like a slant and go. Um, so he kind of split the double team because it was a corner and a safety that were both I mean, technically responsible for him in a sense. Um, and he was able to split him, you know, and catch the ball, score a touchdown. And this is what we talked about, that slant and go that they've been setting up all game. 
I'll tell this. you what that is. That is the cornerback trying to stay on him, but being just burnt by, you know, legitimate 4.4 speed. That's what happened there. Closeness you can get from That's what happened Beckham there. Jr. If he breaks the first tackle, he's away. And then it was like a primetime game, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that's Odell, <laughs> you know? He's back to being himself, and it showed up in the Super Bowl. Looking for Odell Beckham Jr. He high points the football. Touchdown, OBJ. All right, so he scored in the, in the, in the Super Bowl. And let it go. Right side, OBJ in space. Goal, Took goal. a few good catches. Beckham had two catches for 52 yards and a touchdown before tearing his ACL in the two second catches. quarter. Bengals rush four, Stafford deals, short, juggle, and drop, and OBJ goes down. Oh no, he just flew. If he don't get hurt, that, that, that game. Hang on, hang on. Did the coach just say his A just blew? How the f how did he know it was the ACL? Game looks, it, it looks a little different, I'll say, because he was on fire. Had he finished out the Super Bowl, he would have probably you know, had, you know, 10 plus catches. Couple of touchdowns, you know, 100, 100 yards. yards. Maybe a couple of touchdowns. He would have definitely had his moment. Hey, yeah. And he got his ring. I'm happy for him because he deserves it. Absolutely. And, and now he's truly commanded the respect of his peers. Who doesn't dream of winning the lot? Well, well, well. Jerry and Marge go large. Um, obviously, I'm not in the right playlist. Um, guys. Thank you for watching once again. It's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, that is OBJ. We're down to number 89. I'm not exactly sure who it is. But uh, all of that and more will be revealed in the next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.